Summary of the behavior of the spot and the forward exchange rates. In class, we looked at two main issues. The first was the behavior of the real exchange rate. And here, we asked the pre uh, question, do prices change to offset changes in the nominal exchange rate? Next, we looked at whether or not we can predict exchange rates. In this summary, I will briefly discuss these two main issues. So what is the real exchange rate? Well, the real exchange rate is defined as the nominal exchange rate deflated by the domestic and the foreign price level. So in this formula, ET is the real exchange rate, PT is the home currency price level, and P star T is the foreign currency price level. The key point here is that if prices exactly offset changes in the nominal spot rate, then the real exchange rate would always be equal to 1. And therefore, there would be no real exchange rate risk. This is closely related to the relative purchasing power parity, which states that the change in the spot rate from time t to t plus 1 is simply given by the price level in the home currency from t to t plus 1 divided by the change in the price level in the foreign currency. So the question is now, does this hold in the data? So what you see here is the exchange rate between US dollar and Canadian dollar. The blue line plots the actual exchange rate and the red line plots the exchange rate implied by the relative PPP. And what we can see here is that the blue line is much more volatile than the red line. The two lines seems to share a common trend, but the blue line spends a significant time over or below the actual red line, meaning that the actual exchange rate can deviate quite a bit and for a long time from the exchange rate implied by the relative PPP. So can we forecast exchange rates? In class, we looked at the general forecasting regression, and this forecasting regression tells you really that the percentage change in the spot rate from time t to t plus 1 can be written as any function of some observables at time t. Now, we looked at different forms of this forecasting regression. The first one was just to use past values of the exchange rate. We call this the weak form. And we saw that it's very difficult to use past exchange rates to predict future exchange rates. There is some predictability, but it's unlikely that this is really economically important. Next, we looked at using forward rates. According to the unbiased expectation hypothesis, forward rates should predict future spot rates. However, in the data, there is very little predictability, although there is some. However, this predictability actually goes in the wrong direction, and this is the basis of carry trades. Next, we looked at macroeconomic variables, and the correlation between macroeconomic variables and the exchange rate is very weak, and this is also what is labeled the exchange rate disconnect puzzle. And if you, on top of that, want to use macroeconomic variables to predict future spot rates, there's even less predictability. Finally, we looked at private information. And in particular, we looked at whether or not central banks can predict exchange rates. There's been a few studies and the evidence is somewhat mixed. If they can predict exchange rates, it's fairly weak and it might depend on which currency you're looking at and which time period. So this ends the summary of the behavior of the spot and forward exchange rates.